Welcome to this episode. In this episode we are going to create a layout file and uh, make it reusable such that we can be able to use, in our, use it in our three pages. So what we are going to do, we are going to have to go to resources, JJS, and inside this folder, already we have one folder that is called pages which we created in our previous tutorial. But uh, I would like to create another one which we are going to call shared. So inside here we have two folders and inside this shared folder I want to create several files. And the first file I want to call it header.v. The next file I would like to call it footer.v. And the next one let me just call it layout. We could also have it in its own folder. Let's just have it here layout.v like that. Now, uh, for all our pages, we'll be having the same header and the same footer. The only thing that you'd change probably would be when we click on a link, we want it activated. But that we are not going to cover in this episode. We will do it in another short episode. So let us go ahead and do that. I would like you to go to getbootstrap.com and uh, let, me just, let me just open it such that we move together. And then you will click at examples then you have download examples so when you click on download examples it will download a zip file like this one here and you open it in folder and extract it uh, like that already have i have mine that is already extracted so we open it and be able to copy some of the examples so when we open this folder we have headers we have footers and we have other things like that so i would just like us to copy some of the things that we have here so we have headers and this is uh this file that we have here that we, is called index i would just like to open it with visual studio code you can open it with the editor that you're working with and so when we open it you can see we have several headers it's just not one because when you look at this this is a header there is another one this one here and there is another one and another one and another one so what i would like us to do is just copy one of them maybe i can copy this one because it's a little bit smaller this one here our applications you have some small variations in the way it is but as long as you copy whatever it is in between the header tags that is fine and i would like us to come and paste it here so inside here i want us to have script setup and inside this script setup is where we're going to have our javascript and then I also want us to have template, which is where we have our HTML, in this case, our bootstrap code. So I will paste it there. And I also want to import the link uh, component or helper from, from Inertia. And it assists us with routing. So import link from Inertia.js at Inertia.js v3, and that should be fine. And so what I want us to have are only three links because in the example application that I showed you, we only had the home link and we had quiz. And then lastly, we had the other page, which was questions like that. So that is it. And because now we want these links to be inertia links, in other words, that links that we will we'll, occur without a page re re reload i will write here link you'll be able to use whatever it is that you have imported above so even here link and then here link so whenever we have the a tags we are replacing them with the word link also the closing tag will be the same and for this other two not that one this one the a tag like that and we are going to save this after that, I'm also going to copy something and bring in our footer. So here I want us to just have script setup also. And I'm going to import link also from atinasha.js view 3. Then I will also have template like that. So let me just go and check something that you're going to have there. So again, now you go to our folder that has bootstrap examples and I would like to open footers. It is just closer to headers. And even this one, I would like to open with uh, Visual Studio. Of course, if you click on it, it will open the way it will appear. And for this one, I also want to 
I also want, want us to choose one of uh, the footers here. Probably we can pick which one. Let me see. One the simplest. Probably this one. This one is a footer with links. I think this one is okay for us. So you copy this and also come and paste it here. And then we are going to remove some of the links because we have, I guess, five of them. I'm going to remove two such that we remain with three because that is what we'll be having in our application. So the same way we had it in uh, the header, we will have home and we will have quiz, quiz. And lastly, we are going to have the questions like that. So after that, I also want to change the a tags to link like that. Mm, there is a mistake somewhere. Yes. So this one to link. Then of course this last one also. And the closing tags similarly. Now you save that. We will go ahead and import the header and footer in our layout file. So even here I'm going to have script setup. So in Vue.js it's possible to import a component into another component and use it. And that is what I want us to do. And so what I want to do is to import the two of them. So import. And the first one is header. And I can just select that and it can be inserted for me. But it is import header from header.view. Because it's within the same folder. Or else we can just say at shared like that. And then import footer. Again, if I select that, it's fine even the way it is like this. But let me just say shared footer.view like that. So at then forward slash shared header.view then shared footer.view. And inside here, of course, the header goes on top of the page. So I'm going to use this component. So I will write it here, header. So in this case, all everything that you're having in the header will appear there. And here I also want to write footer like that. On top of that, inside here I want us to have slot. And this slot is the one that we'll be using now to pass any other content. So if you have the page specific content, it will be passed inside this slot. So in other words, when you wrap the content that is supposed to go to the slot with the layout, then that whole layout will be extended to all the pages. So I would like us to go to the page that we created here, which we called home.view. And I would like to, and there's something else I need to do because I want this one to be a container. So let me just, before we have, after, before we write the header, I want us to have a div with a class of container, container like that. And I want to close that div, not template, but div like that so we are yes i've not closed this one yes div class container like that yes exactly that way then now if we go to our home page as you can see currently if i'm to just run this application let me just open terminal and run it uh, i'm going to type php artisan serve and then i'm also going to also run npm npm run dev to compile and once those ones are running we will have an application the way it was initially sometime so localhost 8000 is taking a while to load yes this is what we were having initially and so i would like to remove the div and just remain with my name is so and where we have the div i would like to wrap it with our layout file so in this case our layout component so in this case i'm going to delete everything here and i'm going to write layout layout opening tag and here i'm going also to just have layout as a closing tag but of course without forgetting to import it so import layout from at shared at forward slash shared layout dot view at. so when i save you will find that something has changed in our application and now we have a header and we have the footer so the header and the footer in our application and in this case the pages uh, are three home and you see when i click on it there is 
there is uh, some loading here and also there is a there is a progress bar here like that also when i click these ones the same thing is happening and this is actually the reason why they're behaving like that is that uh, because we have used the link uh, that we imported from inertia so basically this is our layout file in our next file in our next tutorial we'll be looking at making these tabs active when clicked on thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point